With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So in this question it is given that why cyclo in is a non-polar molecule. So if we want to say why this molecule is a non-polar molecule, we have to first see the structure of a cyclo molecule. If you see the general structure for a cyclo means octa means we have eight carbon atoms. So we will first draw a eight carbon atom. Cyclo means it is a cyclic group, which is closed cyclic group, right? So cyclo means like this. So this is the structure of the cyclooctatetrahene. If you count the carbon atoms, you will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Total 8 carbon atoms are present. Now the double bonds are present which are conjugated in system. So conjugated double bonds. Now if you see, the molecule is basically having 8 pi electrons. 8 pi electrons. Because one double bond is equivalent for 2 pi electrons, right? So 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, that is 8 pi electrons. So since the molecule is a 8 pi electron, that is, it has 4, it is following 4 n pi electron system configuration. 4 n pi electron system configuration is followed. 4 n pi electron system means it is a anti-aromatic compound. If it would have been a 6, 4n plus 2 pi electron system, it would have been aromatic compound, but it is following the 4n pi electron system where the n value is 2. So it is an anti-aromatic compound, which is a planar molecule over here. If you see, it is planar molecule and it is also seen that conjugation is followed. Conjugation followed. Here what happens is, we know that the energy of aromatic compounds is quite high. Energy for aromatic compounds is quite high. Then comes out for the non-aromatic. And finally, for the anti-aromatic. Now the bigger structures, what happens is they change the planarity from planar to non-planar for becoming a non-aromatic compound because anti-aromatic compounds are not stable or you can say they are unstable. So to form or you can say to become non-aromatic, they change their planarity from planar to non-planar. And if you see this molecule that is a cyclooctatetrahene changes to non-polar by converting it into a tub-like structure. Tub-like structure which is a non-polar molecule. Non-polar molecule. And if you see the structure for this a tub tub like structure it has so the structure is somewhat like this here you will have like this so this is the tub like structure of cyclooctatetrine if you count the carbon atoms it should be 8 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 8 so total 8 carbon atoms and hence for the structure is successfully valid and this changes the structure from planar to non-planar and for the energy reasons or you can say the stability reasons the structure changes from planar to non-planar as you can see the non-aromatic compounds are more stable than anti-aromatic compound here what happens now is the planarity has changed it becomes non-planar and since it is a non-planar we can say the compound is non-aromatic implies it is a non-aromatic compound so due to stability reasons, we say the, mol the molecule which we have, that is the cyclooctatetrahene, changes its structure from polar to non-polar compound. So this will be the answer for this question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.